welcome viewers to softy dami today our course is on constraints how to assign constraints to activities what are constraints and why we assign constraints in to activities in primavera p6 and in the bottom our primavera p6 is open here from here bottom we open our primavera p6 so here primavera p6 window is open and how we define constraints constraints an externally imposed factor affecting when an activity can start or finish in primavera p6 each activity can have up to two constraints on it when a project is scheduled so there are two constraints we can apply on an activity at a time here we can see in the bottom constraints primary and secondary so we can apply constraints primary or secondary here you can see there are a lot of type of constraints so i will let you know what are primary and what are secondary constraints so here you can see we have many types of constraints written here one or two we can apply constraints to each activity so i will start here from how to show this bottom bar here i can remove bottom bar and here from detail we can also show this one so i will find an activity from here on which we can apply these here i find an activity which on which we can practice these constraints so here we can see column start and finish these are these dates are our scheduled dates and the next one is early start early finish as you know late what are early starts and what are early finish late start late finish free float and total float so here is total float 114 is it's mean that this can activity can delay 114 days without any disturbing this project here free float is 114 it's mean successor and predecessor are maintain 114 days this activity so here i find an activity slab pouring so this activity is look like critical activity zero float and zero free float so here i can see uh, i can push this one up and my activity little bit up so i can see everything clearly so this is pouring of concrete here i can see i make this one in large this one more in large and i go in the front of this pouring slab and double click so i can find my bar here i can easily move here and i can see minus 3 days delay or variance in uh, this activity so from here i can assign constraints to my start and finish so first is there is as late as possible i will let you know as late as possible on the last one first i will apply mandatory finish mandatory start and mandatory finish what are mandatory start the mandatory start is applied on both early start and late start it will freeze both early start and late start of this activity if i move forward a backward this activity is planned on 18 of may if i go for 14 of may here and i schedule here i click on f9 button and schedule this project on 31st of january when i click on it so you can see it freeze it's all of start dates early start date early start date you can see from here and here late start date and the original start date you can see all the dates are 14 may so this mandatory finish freeze hold the dates rather project affected or not affected you can see overall project float is changed but it fixes its own float on zero and change all the activities due to mandatory start so same like mandatory start we can apply same mandatory finish so on when we go for mandatory finish if i 
finish it on 27 of may it's late later than so when i schedule it it will push it out so you can see it goes to 26 of may means 27 of may or 26 of may or 27 of may it's both the same we can go for two days more 29 it will go for 28 may you can see 28 may 28 may 28 may it's mean late finish early finish and our project finish will be same mandatory finish will applied on each of activity but it disturbs all the other activities you can see minus 7 minus 7 minus 7 minus 7 here you can see top plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 means it's plus 7 on top and minus 7 after upcoming means 7 days delay this one this activity after assigning a student to this activity this activity delayed the project zero it's by creating zero float itself and the upcoming activity is minus 7 and the past activity is 2 plus 7 uh, it it due to mandatory finish so i will go for further what is start on effect so here i open my excel sheet this is the sprint start on when i minus duration from my date means if the date is 18 of may i minus the date i apply 16 of may start on then backward move late start my late start will be backward move means only my late start will be go for 16 of may so here my activity when i go for none and i schedule it and here i see it start on 18 of may i go for start on and i move for 2 days back or 3 days back 15 so when i schedule it by f9 by enter schedule it you can see my late start is affected only no other activity is affected by this one no other date is affected only my late start is affected so when i minus duration from my date then only late start will be affected and i will go for my sheet so here the other one is when i plus my duration then my early start will be affected and my date will be go to forward so it's at automatically go to forward it's logical but affected on early early start not late start so if i assign 20 of may my early start will be affected so you can see here here you can see my early start is on 20 of may it from 18 it go to 20 you can see 18 late start and it go to 20 and my original date will be go to as it is my 20 because so you can see my early start date is moved forward two days when i add two days in my activity okay. so the next one i want to tell you about finish on so if i deduct duration from my date finish on it move for backward and my late finish will be my late finish will be move backward the days which i deduct and only my late finish will be affected if i minus duration finished on i click on finished on first i will normal it none schedule it when i say, when i assign finish on 19 two days back and schedule it so you can see it goes to 19 of may late finish change not early finish affected and not general finish affected late finish will be affected only when i minus the duration so i can see here when i plus the duration then early finish will be affected and move two step forward as it's it's possible so finish on two days forward means 23 i will go for 23 again i will schedule it and you can see early finish is forwarded and our overall project you know it's uh, also uh, affected 23 and no late finish will be affected only early finish will be moved forward so our next one is start on or before start on or before 
सो हाउ स्टार्ट ऑन आर बिफोर इफेक्टेड वेन आई माइनस द ड्यूरेशन हेयर इज रिटर्न स्टार्ट ऑन आर बिफोर वेन आई माइनस द ड्यूरेशन बैकवर्ड पास यू कैन सी बैकवर्ड पास इज माई बैकवर्ड पास इज इफेक्टेड एंड ऑन लेट स्टार्ट वेन आई स्टार्ट ऑन आर बिफोर वेन आई माइनस द ड्यूरेशन नाइनटीन एंड स्केजुल इट यू कैन सी our late start is affected it is 18 may and move backward so i will increase two days 21 schedule it and it's remain same as imposed here you can see imposed imposed mean as remain same as i imposed here and do now i will go for start on or after here i show you example start on or after when i deduct two days here when i schedule it no effect no imposed so you can see here none i will go for none schedule it first and when i go for start on or after start on or after on 17 or 16 then you see there is no effect on these activities no it will be remain imposed date as imposed if i minus the duration and then if i plus the duration 21 and then i schedule it so here you can see written its move forward pass our what is affected early start will be affected then early start here we go early start is affected as i tell you no late start and late finish will be affected only early start is affected 21 and as it is early start it dependent on our schedule so the next one is our finish on or before finish on or before or same behavior finish on or before i when i deduct two days my 19 if i schedule on 19 so here you can see only late finish will be affected here you can see only late finish will be affected no early finish and no general finish and when i go for two days above 23 so here you can see no effect on this schedule no effect on no nothing not late finish early finish and general finish of our project so the next one is finish on or after and in this one when we uh, deduct to two days minus into 19 and when i schedule it then you can see no effect on imposed date imposed date will be same and when i plus two days 23 and you can schedule it and you can see early finish date is affected by this one and as it is scheduled date so here you can see early finish imposed late finish imposed same imposed date will become so this table you can see here clearly make a screenshot from here and you can learn it from here by and memorize it and i have also memorized it but i want to show you if i do not show you you can you may be confused in it so i make this table to make it easy backward forward and imposed and affected on so you can see all of this i tell you about mandatory start and mandatory finish the last one is now as late as possible so as late as possible when we apply there is not nothing date is applied on it it's remain same when i go for secondary here is finish on or before same i told you finish on or before and start on or before so secondary will be applied on finish on or before finish on or after on or before start on or after or uh, start on or before it's not applied on start on not applied on finish on not applied on mandatory start not applied on mandatory finish this secondary will be applied not applied on these four mandatory start mandatory finish start on finish on the other one it's applied the secondary one because uh, it, its other side is not fixed so its one side is loose if early start is affected then uh, uh, the other side its late start is affected so this lecture is about constraints this is a very uh, crucial lecture so why we apply constraints to 
remain our float zero. So you can see our float is fixed by these activities when we apply mandatory finish, mandatory start. Our float in the all cases you can see our float is zero. So we can uh, assign float zero by con applying constraints. So my viewers, if you like my lecture, so please subscribe my channel, like, share, comment and uh, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest upcoming notifications. See you in next video.